Hi, everyone. We are joined today by Tigers' first-round pick from last year and the third overall pick in the Major League Baseball draft, Jackson Jove. And Jackson, I thought we'd just start with what's it like for you to be here in camp? You got an invite. That was kind of special to this mini camp. And how's it feel to be playing baseball again? Yeah, no, it's awesome. You know, it's been a long time um, in Oklahoma and definitely excited to be back. You know, they brought in a a great new staff and I'm um, seeing a lot of new faces so it's definitely been a fun time. I want to go back to your first live bullpen session the other day. Now that may not sound like a big deal to fans but you had not thrown a pitch in a game since mid-May when you were in high school. You've got to be pretty fired up for this. What were some of the thoughts going through your mind? Yeah no, I was definitely ready to go. Obviously you see a lot of those things on Twitter and people are wondering how you're going to do so I was definitely ready to get out there and you know it, it went how it did. Gave up my First home run, so you know that's a part of it. Kind of ironic that it happened the first time I went out there, but um, you know, just talking to Gabe and all those guys, you know, I got a long way to go. So um, it's just the beginning, so I'm ready to go. We've certainly heard a lot about the investment the Tigers have made in player development. It's a lot of technology. It's a lot of coaching. Uh, let's start with you threw 15 pitches in your live BP the other day. You went in and looked at every one of those pitches with Gabe, right? So give fans a feel for how's that discussion going. What are the things you're looking? At? The main thing me and Gabe talked about was my fastball, um, and oftentimes my fastball has a tendency to kind of run away, so we were able to use the track man to see kind of how it was spinning, uh, the direction, and how much movement I was getting to each side of the plate. So um, basically, so my fastball was tilted a little bit when it spins to the side, and we're looking to get more of a, more 12 o'clock there um, and get more efficient spin. So. Um, playing to that movement so uh, that's something I'm working on. I love hearing about learning from other players because it's not just the coaching right it's all you guys talking amongst yourselves and you got some college pitchers who were here drafted high last year in Ty Madden and Dylan Smith and I mean you can learn from those guys as well those conversations are constant. Aren't they? Yeah absolutely Ty's been awesome to have in my in my year and um, guys like Logan Shore I've been playing catch with a lot just talking about different fastball things different grips. Your good friend Isaac Pacheco is down here and it helps to have somebody who's you know with you in this he was picked right not too far after you in the draft last year good friends and you can go through this together and that's not a small thing yeah no it definitely makes a transition a lot easier because it is not normal for a couple of 19 year olds to head down to florida and just start playing baseball all the time um, but yeah he's he's an awesome guy to have you know we spend pretty much every second of the day together. I know Tiger fans are looking forward to watching you pitch and watching you advance in, the, in this minor, minor league season and all the best to you in 2022. Thank you very much, I appreciate it.